So to summarize Sophie's choice, Mr. Stein, when you saw it in the theater after right, having written the novel and gone through this, you know, back and forth with Alan, were you pleased? Give me, a, give me your feeling on this. I was pleased with these. I was certainly, in general, a, a pleased uh, far more than, than I thought I would be, given the, you know, the aforementioned uh, handicap. Yes. I thought that that uh, that again um, I would have done other things differently. I feel still that Alan uh, did not. Uh, for instance, uh, I I didn't I didn't think he exploited the musical factors of the book. The the book is is drenched in in classical music, and he he, he missed that. Uh, but that that's not a, a terribly important. Uh, uh, failing, it seems to me. Uh, in general, I thought the film was a, a very good one, uh, as in, in, because it was an extremely complex book and uh, with, with great numbers of layers of meaning, and it was impossible for him to have captured all of those in the film. So what he captured, I think he did extremely well. I agree. I imagine you were pleased with the fact that Academy Awards were given and nominations were given. How, how did that make you feel, or does that not have much meaning for, for an author? Well, I was pleased for, for Merrill. Uh, naturally, it, uh, it enhanced the, you know, the prestige of the movie for, for uh, her to, uh, for Merrill to have received that uh, uh, Oscar. It was, it was, it was uh, very, very satisfying to me to, to see her. She did an absolutely wonderful job, and she's told me that since that uh, more than once that it was the role that she treasured the most in her entire career, and uh, you know, so I think it was very good. And coming from probably the top American female actor of our generation, that's quite something. Yeah, but yes, I th yeah, I think it. And the movie, you know, it, it was uh, it had mixed reviews. It. Uh, the, the uh, hard-nosed uh, New York critics didn't treat it terribly well, but uh, I think it's, it's, it survived that, uh, you know, and because it, it's a perennial, it's perennially uh, rebroadcast on television over and over and over again, and whenever it is, I always hear very uh, favorable comments. So I think it, it has acquired, despite the initial uh, semi-hostility on the part of the critics, a kind of status of a classic.